Hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rock and Robbins here, network marketing leader, speaker, and author of the best selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business, and creator of my passion project, our three CD series, Rockstar Recruiting School. I hope you are enjoying the 30 day challenge to rock your network marketing business. If you're just finding out about it, it's not too late to start. Go ahead and join us. Go to the blog section of sarahrobbins.com and start on whatever day you find this challenge. All of the blogs listed by day are in the archive section of the blog. It is never too late to start to work toward rocking your network marketing business. Now today we're actually snowed in, maybe toward the end of this section I can turn the camera out to see what I'm seeing. It's our frozen lake covered with about 18 inches and counting of snow. So what a perfect day to really just stay inside, cozy up with a cup of coffee and uh, some ni nice music and really work on creating my prospect list, adding to it, updating it, etc. Now first and foremost, I hope you never take anybody off your list because you can always revisit later. In fact, that's what I'm doing month, much of uh, the month of January is revisiting people and saying, you know, I know the timing wasn't right before, but if your timing has changed now, you couldn't have picked a better time to take a look at us and tell about the new products, new programs, new um, incentives, whatever you've got going on and revisit and see if their time has changed. I've had people join me in business a couple years later. So now's the time to re really be working on creating or updating your prospect list. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down every single name that comes to mind. You know, go through your phone, go through your Facebook list. If you have an address book, go through it. You know, any invitation list, you know, parties, weddings, etc. Just write down every single solitary name. If your company is a memory jogger, write down those names as well. I'll be including, including a memory jogger for you on the sarahrobbins.com blog on today's blog post. So, you know, just put on some nice music, take some time, write down every single name and don't prejudge because here's the thing you guys you never know what people will do or who they will lead you to you know if you think somebody's great somebody else says too and someone will contact them why not now and why not you I had a situation where, man, I tell you what, I really regret not contacting somebody. There's a woman by the name of Stacy Roney, and my mom and I actually used to work for her when we were in the department store setting, which is how I found my network marketing business. And Stacy employed us, and I just thought so many times, man, she'd be perfect for my business. But of course, I started to talk myself out of it. Oh man, she's important. She knows a lot of people. I don't want to burn any bridges. I'm too nervous. I'm too shy. I told myself a lot of stories and I put her on my chicken list. Well, again, remember, if you think somebody's great, somebody else does too. Somebody will contact them. In this case, Rose out of Chicago beat me to it. And you know, her approach was super smart. She just gave Stacy a call and built on her credibility and said something like, Hey Stacy, I'm calling you for a reason today. You know, she was honest up front and she said, I know you've built a really awesome network in Chicago. You know, give them a compliment. You know, you've got a lot of connections there. You have a lot of friends there. You've built a great network there. You've built an awesome business there. And Rose said, you know, I'm building a business in Chicago too. And I thought of you immediately. I know you may or may not be interested in what I do. You know, do the takeaway. She said, but I'm hoping I can share with you in hopes that you might find somebody who would find a need for what we're doing or for what we're offering. Can I meet you for coffee, my treat, and share with you what I'm up to? And Stacy said, sure. And you know what was interesting? She actually came with a list prepared of hundreds of names of her freelancers that worked for her that she was ready to give Rose as referrals. Now, Rose over coffee explained what she was up to. Stacy put that list back in her pocket and said, wait a minute, you mean to tell me there's an opportunity here? And she said, I'd love to learn more. So Rose ended up inviting her to come to hear more about what we were up to. And guess who was the guest presenter in the room that night in Chicago? Yeah, yours truly. So in walks Stacy Roney and my stomach and my jaw, they hit the ground. Stacy ended up joining us that night and ended up being the number one recruiter in the company. Ouch, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Now I'm thrilled for Stacy and Rose, but how many of you guys know I only have to learn that kind of mistake once, so now if somebody comes to mind, I think what's greater, the risk or the reward? You know, get outside of yourself. You know, the worst thing that they're gonna say is no, your wildest dreams come true, they're gonna join you. 
you're not going to die, okay? I've yet to die doing this, right? And so instead of thinking about yourself and what are they going to think about me, be thinking about you could be holding the solution to their New Year's resolution. You could be holding the answer to prayers. This could be the thing that they have been looking for. It could change your life and their life too. So as you're creating that list, I want you to just really get brave, right? Think about what's the worst thing that can happen? What's the best thing that can happen? Don't prejudge anybody. Have a professional sense of urgency. Commit to contacting you two per day because on day one of the blog, I remind you, you could build yourself a multi-million dollar asset over the next few years. It's possible. That's what it's going to take for you to rock your network marketing business. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Stay warm and continue to rock on, rock stars. Let's see if you can see what I'm seeing right now. All right, excuse the shaky hand. I never promised to be a professional cameraman or woman, but check this out, you guys. There was once a lake that back there and a waterfall, which you can see, but now it's just covered white with snow. Check it all out. I'm going to give you the view over here. There's a house being built next to us right there. But burr, cozy up with your lists and a cup of coffee and rock on. And we'll see you tomorrow on the blog. Goodbye. God bless.